Welcome back to the Poker Vlog. This is episode number 99. For this one, we play a meetup game session in Las Vegas. There are tons of all-ins. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. But uh, before we get started, Andrew and I are in Pompano, Florida. We got a meetup game tonight at the Isle Casino. And we're gonna be here through the weekend, actually, because there's a $1,500 main event. Uh, probably gonna be playing that Friday. And then from here, we're going up to Maryland Live. We have a meetup game there at July 30th. So if you guys are anywhere on the East Coast, Maybe I'll see you guys in the next week or so. All right, let's go ahead and get started. We're back at the South Point for our end of the WSOP meetup game. We're playing 2-5. There are nine tables full of people looking to get some Bradley dollars. I booked 12 cash game session wins in a row coming into this, hoping to keep that streak going. I buy into the game for 1,000 and take my seat. Early on, we're dealt ace-king offsuit in the big blind. A player in middle position raises to 15. Cutoff calls. I put in the three bet to 75. The initial preflop raiser calls, cutoff folds, we're heads up, the flop comes ace five deuce with two hearts, great flop for us, I down bet to 60. I'm looking to get calls out of middle and high pocket pairs as well as worse aces. The opponent calls, the turn is a three, this can be scary for some people when they see four to a straight, but there aren't going to be many fours in my opponent's range after he opens preflop and calls my three bet. I fire for 150. The player calls, really seems like he has ace king or ace queen, he only has 400 left in his stack, the river is a jack. I shove, forcing him to have to make a tough decision. There are two conceivable good outcomes for us. He may call with ace-queen, or he could potentially fold with ace-king. He ends up calling because he knows there shouldn't be many fours in my range either. We both have the same hand, and the dealer splits up the pot for us. We pick up ace-king once more shortly after. This time we're in the hijack. I open to 15, the small blind calls, and the big blind calls. We go three ways to the flop. It's king 6 five, rainbow. We've got top top. Checks to me. I bet 30. Small blind folds, the big blind calls, we're heads up, the turn is the three of clubs, the big blind checks, I bet 75. The big blind calls, the river is the nine of clubs, eight seven makes a straight, and backdoor clubs get there, the opponent leads out for 125. It's not much, it looks like a blocker bet with a weak king, I consider raising, but I don't do it, I flat, the player turns over jack five of clubs, he flopped bottom pair and run a runner to flush. We're not doing great. I add on for 300 before we get involved in the double board bomb pot. It's a baby one. Each player puts in 10, then we go straight to two flops. We have 7-4 suited in the small blind. The first flop is 9-7-3 with two diamonds, and the second is king 5-3 rainbow. I've got a piece on both boards. I check, the big blind checks, under the gun bet 60. Folds to me. Folding here is reasonable since I don't want to call and play this out of position. Folding is also zero fun, and it doesn't seem like something I would do in a double board bomb pot. I tend to run pretty well in these spots. I make it 200 to apply maximum pressure. The big blind folds, under the gun tanks, then calls. The turns are the eight of diamonds and the nine of clubs. Neither of these help us. The opponent has 313 left. I throw up a Hail Mary, all in, semi bluff. That doesn't get through. The player calls, the top river is the nine, the bottom river is a king. We don't have much. The opponent has seven three offsuits, so she flopped two pair on the top board, then got counterfeited, so we chopped that one. She has second pair on the bottom board, where we have nothing. She wins three quarters of the pot. Our double board bomb pot run good might be over. I add on for another 200, and we may as well try our second attempt at winning a double board bomb pot. I've got jack 10 offsuit on the button. We put $10 in each and get started. The first flop is ace jack four all clubs. We've got middle pair and a draw to the third nuts. The second flop is king nine three rainbow. We've got a gutter. Not bad for us. Checks out under the gun plus two. She bets 45. The player on her left makes the call. I could call or raise. I choose to call here in position. The under the gun player who's holding the dealer button for when normal play resumes raises to 145. Under the gun plus two and the middle position player both fold. I call the peel and see what develops. We're heads up and we hit some of the two best turn cards we could hit. The top one is the seven of clubs, we make the flush, and the bottom turn is the queen of clubs, not only giving us the best possible hand on that board, but it upgrades us to the second nuts on the top board. Under the gun checks, we're living the dream. This is a rare instance when we're strong on both boards. I bet 250 purely for value. The opponent calls, I just wanna see two blanks, not what happens. The top river is the five of clubs, making three straight flushes possible, but the three of clubs being on the bottom board blocks two of them. Second river is the king of clubs. This pairs the board and the club flush draw gets there. It does make it so I have the highest flush possible on the first board though. Under the gun jams for about 550 effective. I call, he turns over king three offsuit. who's drawing dead on the turn for the top board and drilled one of four outs on the bottom one. He restocked out on me to chop it up. After that, I need a drink. We get a round of Washington apples at a new table. It's the official shot of the meetup game. Then we pick up 10 nine of spades in the cutoff. Under the gun plus one opens at 20. 
Middle position player calls. I call. The small blind, three bets to 95. It's a small raise considering how much money is already in the middle. Under the gun, plus one, and the middle position player both fold. I call for 75 more. We're heads up. The flop comes out. Jack, five, deuce with two diamonds. Without any aces, kings, or queens out there, it's not a particularly good flop for the opponent's three bet range. He down bets to 60. I don't read this as a bet of strength. Feels like I might be up against an ace king type of hand. I raise to 200. Hoping that I don't get called, but if I do, there will be several cards that could give me a straight draw. And if I make a pair, I might be good. That's not something we need to be concerned with. The opponent folds, the dealer pushes us to the pot. After that, we've got ace seven offsuit in the big blind of a $15 double board bomb pot. The first flop is eight six four with two diamonds. The second flop is ace three deuce with two diamonds. We have a gutter and top pair. That's enough to bet. I make it 100. Under the gun plus one and under the gun plus two both call. The action's on the button. He raises to 325. There aren't too many hands that I could be up against to have me beat on both boards. There are a few that I'm actually beating on both, like a hand containing two diamonds. For that reason, Rolling. Rolling. under the gun plus one, under the gun plus two, both fold. The button calls and that's 554 total. I have no idea whether I'm crushed or not. The first turn is an eight. The second is the jack of diamonds. It's not good if we're up against a flush draw. The rivers are the queen of hearts on top, and king of clubs on bottom. Turns out we got a terrible run. Yeah. yeah. Watch this good. Watch the queen. We were up against queen five of diamonds and lost on both boards. He made top pair on the first one and then a flush on the second one. He had lots of equity, but with so many diamonds spread out across two boards, he was an underdog on each. It's clear that the double board bomb pot gods turned against me. We move on and pick up jack nine hearts in the hijack. I open to 15. The cutoff makes it 50. He's a strong cash game pro. I call. The flop comes 10 7 5 with two hearts. We have the world with a flush draw, gutter, and one over. I check. The cutoff checks back. The turn is the eight of hearts, giving us the flush and an open-ended straight flush draw. I lead for 80. The cutoff calls. Give me the queen or seven of hearts one time. Nope. The river is the nine of spades. There are four to the straight. I bomb it, betting 300, which is more than the pot. I'd likely only get called by a straight or someone who thinks I'm bluffing, so might as well bet big. Probably would have bet on the flop or raised on the turn with a better flush, so I'm not concerned that I'm beat at all. The opponent folds. We get a little back from what we lost previously. A few orbits later, we have king-queen offsuit in the cutoff. The hijack opens at 20. I elect to three bet to 70. The hijack calls, we're heads up, and the flop is queen-jack nine, all spades. It's kind of a weird one for us. Even with top pair and a straight draw, we're towards the middle or bottom of our range. The opponent checks, I check back. The turn is another jack. The player checks, I bet very small and put out 50. The opponent calls, the river is a third jack. We have a full house. The hijack leads for 125. Not letting this go. I call, she turns over pocket aces. That's good enough to win it. The hits keep coming. I add on for 300 more, we're in for 1800 total. We go to our fourth and final table of the night where we pick up ace five of spades in the big blind. Under the gun limps in, the hijack raises to 25. The small blind calls, I three bet to 120. Under the gun folds, the hijack calls, the small blind folds, we're heads up. The flop comes queen 10 nine with two hearts. This is a great flop for my opponent's opening and three bet calling range, I check. The hijack checks back, starting to feel like I may be up against ace king. The turn is another nine. I check, the hijack checks again. The river is the three of hearts. The opponent only has 400 left. I put him to a tough decision and I rip it in. The line doesn't make a ton of sense, but I doubt the hijack has much the way this hand is played. He'd have to have a lot of guts to call with ace high. He folds, we win it, and we are awarded the pot. In this one, we have 10 of spades in the cutoff. The hijack opens at 15. I three bet to 60. The small blind cold four bets to 120. The hijack folds. I can't fold for that price. It's only 60 more. I call. Our heads up. The flop is jack nine four rainbow with one spade. We've got an open ender with a backdoor flush draw. Small blind checks. I bet 100. Small blind calls. The turn is the six of hearts. The small blind leads for a tiny bet of 75. It's pretty odd. I'm not sure what to make of it. I call. The river is the three of diamonds. We completely brick and our hand has no value whatsoever. Small blind checks. I'm gonna have to fire for some amount. Any over pair is gonna call me almost no matter what, so I'm trying to get hands like ace king to fold. I don't need to make it too much to accomplish that. I bet 250. The opponent calls immediately and says, You win. No, no, it, it, I win. I hope so. Like, no, no. Oh, wow. Jesus. <laughs> Strange hand. I got got by king four. I had on for another 600 after that. I'm in for 2,400 total now. And I'm stuck 1,400 on the night. 
Let's meet up gamers rich with Bradley dollars. This is the face of the guy who got me. <laughs> Next, I've got seven six suited in the hijack. I opened a 20. The button calls, he's a buddy of mine named Bryant. The flop comes jack eight seven with two spades. I've got a hand with some value. I don't necessarily need to bluff. I check, the button bets 30. I'm not giving up. I call, the turn is the four diamonds giving me a gut shot to go along with my bottom pair. I check, the button bets 80. Something doesn't feel right. My friend has a beard. People with beards are statistically 300% more likely to be bluffing. You can look it up. For that reason alone, I call. The river is another jack. It's not a terrible card for us. Makes it less likely that we'd be up against one. I check. The button gives up and checks back. He's got nothing. A pair of sevens is good. Something goes our way and we win. Never try to bluff a stuck whale, Bryant. Never. I've decided it's time to win a double board bomb pot outright. I've got king queen of spades in the big blind. We each put in 20. The first flop is 10 seven deuce with two spades. We have a flush draw and two overs. The second flop is jack nine four rainbow. We have a gutter, two overs and a backdoor flush draw. It's a lot of equity in this situation. I bet 100. Folds to the button. He makes the call, we're heads up. The first turn is another 10, which is a terrible card for multiple reasons. Could be drawing dead on that board and it reduces the likelihood that we'd be able to make a straight on the bottom board. Second turn is the six of diamonds. There are lots of holdings that we could be up against that might fold to a bet still, so I slide in 300. The button lays it down. We scoop the pot with king high. We start playing the button game at our table. There's $15 on it. The button wins, which is me in this case. We'll get the 15 and the pot. Anytime the button doesn't win, $5 is added to it. I've got pocket deuces. A middle position player opens a 25. I three bet 80. The big blind calls. That's alarming. He's the same guy that beat me with king four suited earlier though, so he could have any two, and that makes it a little bit less alarming. Initial razor folds, we're heads up. The flop comes king jack three with two diamonds. The big blind checks. This is a great board for my three bet range. I can have aces, kings, ace, king, potentially jacks, maybe ace, queen of diamonds, and a few other strong holdings. I see bet 125. The big blind isn't going away. He makes the call. The turn is the five of spades. The big blind checks. The words 400 come out of my mouth. I slide in the first stack. The big blind, who is several beers deep, sees the 100 in the middle, thinks that's what I bet. He tossed in 100 himself without realizing the actual bet is 400. Oh, I thought you said 100. I said 400. Is that too bad? I heard 100 and he put a 100 out. So what do you want me to do? What should I do here? Brad, what should I do here? This puts me in an awkward spot. You can do whatever you want, man. No, no, I don't, we don't need that. We're, we're grown adults here. So I heard 100 and I saw 100 and then I called it. So I I, I didn't hear it before. So what would normally happen? Normally what would happen is the 100's in play. Okay. I'll give you the 100 back. No, no, I don't want, no. Brad, we're fine. We're fine. A hundred dollars. I thought you were just trying to like get me go. I'll for give a call. you the hundred back. Man. I thought you, you were going for a call. <laughs> listen. I know, I know. Listen. You got it, Brad. Don't worry about it, man. Brad. It's fine. Listen to me. I got you drinks all night. Perfect. Before we even said that, it seemed like a dom and ace of spades type of night. I'm stuck piles of cash. We've been playing for seven hours, and I have free drinks lined up. So it's time to get going. Actually, the guys want to play one more bomb pot. It's hard to resist that. We each put in 20 and go to the flop. It's jack seven five with two hearts. We look down at pocket queens and the cutoff. Small blind bets 25. The hijack calls. Feels like it should be more. All right, I'm gonna make it 100. Of course you will. Uh oh, Brad's in for 100. Of course you are. Small blind calls. The hijack folds. We're heads up. They say you should never play out of the rack, so I'm not thrilled to be doing this. The turn is the ace of diamonds. Not good because now we're losing the all ace high flush draws. Small blind checks. I check back. The river is the eight of diamonds. A few other hands get there that are beating us, but the small blind checks again. Queens are likely good. I bet 75 and I get snap called. Queens are good. We win the last part of the night, but still booked a $630 loss and the 12 session cash game win streak is officially over. As usual, we head to the bar and we wrap it up with drinks. This time they're free for me though. That's it for this one guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons because it helps out the channel a ton. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to let me know in the comment section. I'm happy to get back to you. Uh, I want to give a huge thanks to the South Point for allowing us to host the meetup games there. Thanks to everybody who showed up. If you 
you guys are on the East Coast, maybe I'll see you guys either tonight or this weekend at the Isle Casino in Pompano, uh, or maybe July 30th at Maryland Live. Also, we're going out to Chicago. We're gonna be playing at the Max with Chicago Charitable Games, August 16th and August 17th. I'll have more details below in the description box. Hope you guys are all doing well. Good luck at the tables and I'll see you next time.